Okay, w once your tent set up, you zip on your awning, which doesn't have to come off. You can flip your awning over the tent, so you don't have to take it off each time. Then you mark out your poles. Now, an easy way of doing it is to just measure that length there. After you set it up the first time, get a little texter, then mark your, your poles so you know how long they need to be. Once again, this is your big spreader. That needs to be about that long, okay? So we just quickly lay out our poles. Then we just start by putting your spreader poles with the plastic end on one end and the flat end on the other. They go in the pockets of your awning. That just sits there and you just go through and put all these in now. Right, so after you put your poles in the two ends, you put your pole in the pocket in the middle. That goes in there, then you put your upright on here. Okay, that'll sit like so. So your canvas is holding it. Put your long pole through there. So then you put your, your long pole into the corner. One thing you have to make sure you do is you don't have the T-nut pointing up. That goes in like so, then you hook over the corner off your canvas. That goes in, then you can just lift that up. You go around to the other side here, you grab your short spreader pole with the two flat ends. That goes on here. That'll just hang and you grab your spreader pole from inside here. Make sure your T-nut is pointing down. That just hooks on there. And then you just hook this on here. Just a little fine tune there just to get this this corner in. Then you go around to the other, to the kitchen side of your awning, grab your spreader, then you lift up all your canvas to your required height. A little final adjustment on all your poles. And there's your basic awning setup.